My name is Annie Nienhusen. I'm from Sandy Bay First Nation. My name is Megan Gimon. I'm from the Saging First Nation. <gasps> My name is Ashley Cushane. I'm from Saging First Nation. I am here at Minot State for speech and language pathology. Thank you. She used these ones for my therapy session. And we're just going to use this for our assessment session today. We have three students in our program. One is pursuing her master's degree and two people were just into the master's program. When Derek from Manitoba First Nations Education Resource Center Talk to us about to try to get speech language pathologists up into your First Nations communities. We were really, really excited. Language is very important and when you have people that already understand that cultural component, it makes for better services for students. I heard about the calling for applicants online. They were looking for individuals, First Nation individuals from Manitoba who wanted to train to become speech language pathologists. Wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do. It was kind of leaning towards medicine at first. And then I found this program and actually everything about it, like working with First Nations, how it involved neurology and science and constantly learning all things that interested me. It was a big decision uh, to move here because I have a 13-year-old boy and I had to leave him in a sense. Uh, it's short term and I knew it was and he knows why I'm going to school and that's kind of how I had to make my big decision but I knew it would be worth it in the long run. Moving out definitely helped me break out of my shell a bit. I always had people speak for me growing up. I was very quiet coming here and kind of being forced to speak for myself was a big challenge. Training initiatives at MFNERC has provided me financial assistance to pay for my courses, textbooks, stuff like that. I didn't even know that speech language pathology was a profession until I learned about this opportunity. I'm really thankful for this opportunity and I'm really excited that when I finish I'll be working with First Nations communities in Manitoba. I hope to learn, I hope to grow, yeah I just hope to get more in touch with my Indigenous side.